Let's go, carry on. Here's my time here. This one is a, this vehicle is called a logistics vehicle. And a lot of people call it a truck on tracks. Now the purpose of this vehicle is not to move, um, not to do the fighting, but it's to move supplies around the battlefield. And that's because tanks are big, hungry beasts. Tanks need a lot of free supply, they need a lot of fuel, ammunition, they need people, they need spare parts. And the tanks are rising the front of the battle. And with their tracks, they can go pretty much anywhere. And therefore, if you're a supply, you supply to be able to do that too. is very important. Now, what we've done with these uh, vehicles as well, we've given you a chance to experience yourself what it's like to go an armoured vehicle. We often get asked here if we have a simulator. And our answer is no, we don't have a simulator. We think what we want to do is far better. So what we've done with our M4 4 is we've stripped out the back, we've put bus seats on them, this is about one day, and we've given you a chance to arrive in the vehicle. And if you look to my left and your right, you can see where the uh, flag there, that's where they go from. If you've never had a ride in a track vehicle before, this is your chance. It is quite fun, and it's like nothing else in the comparison. The only restriction on it is you have to go out three pounds to be able to play for it, but also if you go to the wrong distance, you've got to get yourself on the road safely. I thought I'd be able to give you a quick lesson on how an armored vehicle or track vehicle works. The role of the track is to spread the weight of the vehicle over a big area, so it can toss, toss off ground. And it really works. The British Army come with the fourth bits, but they're stalking white tanks. They actually put less ground pressure on the ground than the human foot did, and they could go all over the place. So the track is like, it's like laying your own road. But the big wheels at the bottom, those are the drone wheels. The purpose of those wheels is they're not driving the track around, they're just spreading the weight of the vehicle across the track. Well, this, most vehicles, you can see a, a, a wheel either at the front or the back with teeth on. That's what it's dropping. And that's the wheel that's powered. That pulls the track round so the vehicle lays its own road and you can keep going. Very small numbers, and any small number of vehicles 